everybody, welcome back, unboxing time. Mary's here. Hi all. And today we're here to open up the, oh, we should've looked. I think it's probably July. I'm gonna say July 2020 Munch Pack. Looks like it's our final munch pack. I thought we were getting one more, but it's been a while. Um, we're trading out for a different snack box. We've just been kind of disappointed. You know, it's just, it's not really good for us. Now watch this one be amazing. Right, that's how <laughs> it usually goes, right? But if you do want to check out munch pack, because maybe it's right for you, we do have a link in the description below. I believe it gets you a discount or something like that. But basically we do the 10 snack. We do, there's like the small, the middle, and the large. We do the middle, so we get 10 snacks. Um, we will rush through these real quick, see what they are. We'll separate them out. We'll do a little taste testing here, and I give you a good time with that. Um, it's been a minute since we've done Munch Pack. I think that's about all we really say up front. Okay. So, uh, but, oh, I was gonna say, I have not eaten anything today. I have not drank any alcohol, so I'm ready to start eating. <laughs> it's time for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you'd like to start, my dear. Our problem is that it's usually, it's been like just two savory things and then two, and then everything else is sweet. And it's kind of like, ugh, we like savory. Woo! Okay, first thing we have a Salta's Crux. Kikiriki peanut. Kikiriki. Peanut. Okay. Interesting. Again, we'll so, tell you more about it. Yeah, there's gonna be a little thing in the uh, little booklet, the booklet there that will yeah. tell us what everything is. So. Yeah, so we'll get to that. Okay. I'm gonna pull out. It's cute. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna pull out this wafery feeling thing. Oh, yes. Uh, this is premium. <laughs> Premium something. Move it around too fast for me to try to read it. <laughs> uh, actually, I do need a name. I forget that we don't have space. Well, I need to show it, Mary. You, you can read it after. <laughs> Again, because we'll figure it out as we go. I, and I just, these videos do take a while, so I'm just trying to move us along. I'm trying to get to the eating segment. <laughs> All right, we have Ooh. Deca wafer roll, mini wafer bites. That looks interesting. Peanut Again, butter, that's me, uh, baby. The peanut butter. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Kind of reminds me of a pizza roll. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, combos. Combos. Is that what yeah, you're thinking? Yeah, oh, yeah. combo. Oh my god, all that sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we got. Oh. Ooh, black truffle potato chips. Oh, oh that sounds good. Torres Selecta. I have a feeling they're gonna be kettle chips though. Mm, maybe. I can't really tell. I don't know. They feel. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can tell through the back of your crunch. You're right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Four snacks. They look pretty interesting. All right. We got Dolceta Petite's cookies and cream wafer bites. That is a flavor profile I am definitely a fan of. So, here we go. Nice. Oh, look. Break them. This already feels like it's crumbled all the hell, well, too. I think they're tiny. I hope so. All right, I got Frugale Citric. So I guess we got some tangy, fruity can candies. That's cool. Does actually look good. Yeah, this could be very tasty. And again, I mean, we like the snacks we get in here. It's just, it's typically just too much for us. And some of this stuff is fairly easy to find. Although I think Mary is right. I think this is gonna be one of those really good boxes. <laughs> But hey, at least we go out on a big note. I think we're doing a Japanese snack box. Is Baketsu? Ba Baketsu, I think, is what we're switching to. Nutella, be ready. Mm, ooh, that looks good. <laughs> I am ready. I don't gotta be ready. I am ready. I was born ready. <laughs> My bee hole is ready. Mm. Uh oh. I said something that triggered something. No. You know I want to do it. Don't even. I can't not do it. It's yes, in my head can. now. It has to happen. I no, can't help it, Mary. No, Mary. Yes, you can. Mary. Yes, you can. No, it's happening. It's happening. Oh my God, oh, it's happening. God. I wonder what's inside your butthole. I really want to know. Yeah, I really want to know. I wonder what's inside your butthole. I really want to know. Yeah, I really want to know. Maybe it is astronauts. Maybe it is aliens. I really want to know. I really want to know. All right. All right, I got it out of my system. Are you sure? For now, this this round, there's a remix of that little girl in it doing that song, and it's such an earworm. I love it. Ooh, I'm gonna like this. Smog balls. Sour smog balls. It looks like Warhead. Like that's like kind of the Warhead logo almost. Oh man, I like the, the evil. The fiendish plot of Doctor Smog. Oh, dude, this is my jam right here. I love me some sour. I like smog sour, but. 
the a small balls just makes it sound like it's just gonna taste bad. Are they Balrog's balls? That doesn't that doesn't work. We got fit cocos maracuja smoothie, smoothie style. style. I don't know about this. And I'm, 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 I've got a little bit of trepidation. Yeah, uh, me too. Good. It's not just me. It does say. Oh, it says frit. I thought it said fruit on the side, but it says frit. It's like a really, really weird way of saying fruit. Frit. Frit. And there's what's inside the box. So we now know what the tin snacks are. And um, you know what? Nine of these, I'm actually excited. Well, eight of these, I'm actually excited to try because I still have no idea what this is. But it feels light and wafery, so. All right, well, what we will typically do now is we're gonna, uh, can we take a break at this early? We kind of ran through that so fast. Oh, here, let's look at this just real quick. Um, so, okay, so, so it looks like, yeah, the mini is the truffle chips, the Be Ready, and the Umebio, ooh, Umai. mozzarella and camber, camber, ooh, it's out of Japan. Uh, it looks like you could have gotten a, a wealth of, uh, three different of the fruit smoothies. Strawberry and raspberry, or apple and currant, or coconut and passion fruit, which is what it looks like we got yep. out of Germany. They'll set of cookies and creams out of Italy. I should tell you, the truffle chips are out of Spain, the Nutella thing's out of Poland, the wafery thing is out of Japan. So that's what's in the mini, and now we continue on to the originals, what we got. The uh, fruit citrus things are out of Chile, and it looks like you could have gotten some different ones. Loop or frug frugali assorted, or did mm -hmm. we get assorted? No, we got citric. Yeah. Um, and then the, uh, the crocs are out of Croatia along with the mini wafer bites where you could have gotten peanut butter, ube, or chocolate flavor. What's ube? Or oob? I have no idea. But that's out of Indonesia. Uh, the toxic waste sour smog balls are out of Pakistan. And chicky crispy out of Costa Rica. What, did we get a chicky crispy? I got five here. You got four there. We're missing one. Oh, we're missing a snack, you sons of bitches. No wonder we're canceling. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, well, we're, damn it. Anyways, um, I'm sure they would fix it, by the way, if you reach out. I mean, at least we can prove like, yeah, you saw us open the box. Um, so then in the family pack, which adds things, you got a mango pineapple bar of some sort out of Chile. Ooh, pizza rings out of Israel, that sounds good. Uh, sour mix out of Germany. Uh, victory cookie out of South Korea. Uh, dulce, uh, dulce de leche wafers, I guess, out of Argentina. Uh, butterscotch flavor popco, like popcorn, that sounds good, out of yeah. Israel. Uh, some kind of cupcake out of Israel. Uh, strawberry flavor soft candies out of Japan. Green apple or strawberry bits candies out of the USA. And uh, sour belt rainbow out of Turkey. And then if you want to do the soda upgrade, it was some kind of Fuji Super Ramune soda, lemon kiwi or Ramune. blue. Lamune, okay. So let me just show you this off and then we'll take our quick break while we sort these out and decide what we're going to uh, to taste. Is this the first time we've done, oh, this is the first time we've done a munch pack on the uh, SLR setup. Mm. It, I, I can't tell if it's in focus or not. <laughs> but, Cause I was like, it should be pretty cl cl crisp and clear for them. That is, okay, there, it definitely focused. Yeah, um, it's hard to tell, it's such tiny print. Yeah, and bright lights in our face too, so. But uh, this should be real easy for you to pause and look at more of the show than ever now, so that's nice. And I do appreciate the magazine booklet element of this. And there's that. All right, so now is the part on sprockets when we take a break and we're gonna come back and we're gonna try all of these because somebody's gotta pay the bills for this very expensive house unless you wanna mm -hmm. join Patreon. It's a dollar a month, lots of cool videos over there. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're gonna do that. We will be right back. Okay, so we have got them sorted and we are gonna start with the Saltus Crocs. Coastin. Coestin, salt and scrap. These gently puffed snacks have perfectly captured the rich flavor and aroma of peanuts Ooh. and come in a super cute crocodile shape that makes snack time even more fun. They do really smell like peanuts. I cannot, I'm sure that's a bonus for me. I know, she's not huge. Do they? Uh, they kind of look like, I, I okay, I upside down. Hopefully I will remember and show you, hopefully I will remember to cut in on this, but you can kind of see. You got it upside down, shoot. Well, I was gonna turn it all kinds of ways so they can see that it's kind of a crocodile. That texture sounds really good. It's like a rice puff. Or a Cheeto. Yeah. Not getting a lot of flavor initially. Pours it back in. Get a little bit of salt. A little bit of peanut. Yeah, it's good. It's not 
finest flavor. Oh, actually, yeah, no, there it is. There it is, you're right. It's, it's very it's, much it's, on the back end. It's bar food. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I like them. I don't know that it's something I'd be like, oh my God, I must buy these if I find them, but I like them. Some of the stuff we've been getting in these boxes, we have a world market now. Mm -hmm. Good job. I said it right. Um, and I found some of this stuff in the world market, so I've bought some things. But yeah, okay, that's pretty interesting. All right. You give me that one? Yeah. Next snack. All right, next we've got the Torre Selecta Black Truffle or Truffa Negra Premium Potato Chips. Yes, so truffle chips, these crunchy, rich, salty, sweet, and savory chips from Torres are like nothing you've ever had. They have to, they have just the right amount of truffle flavor and leave a perfect aftertaste and from they Spain. Are kettle chips. Are they? They look like in between kettle chips. I don't know about the smell. It smells. Didn't it taste pretty good? Mmm. Oh. Oh, no, that's awesome. I immediately got the flavors of um, Azur's truffle fries. Mmm, oh, sh okay. This I would buy the hell out of, and my dad would buy the hell out of, mm -hmm. and Mary and I might have to fight over these, except she'll win, because she's cuter. <laughs> mm. Also more vicious. And you eat snacks <laughs> more than I do. Um, I'm not sure about that. I have a snack once at the end of the night. Okay, I remember I have like three snacks once at the end of the night. <laughs> also, my favorite snack is of the grape variety. Mm. It's been turned into liquid. That's my preferred snack. <laughs> oh my God. I, I could, oh, I want to eat that whole bag. Okay. I'll well, set it down for now. I'm gonna, those Torres, they're awesome. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be hard to top. That's gotta be the winner here tonight. So, all right, cool beans. I don't know. Uh, I'm ho I, I have somewhat high hopes for the, the yeah, next one. Me too, I do too, but if anything tops that, I'm gonna be very happy because those are awesome. Okay. Okay, next snack. All right. I oh, know I've come. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I, how does this work? You talk first, I talk. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so what's next? The premium umaibo, um, yeah, umaibo uh, mozzarella and camembert. The savory and crunchy corn stick is packed with delicious cheesy flavors like mozzarella and camembert. That's a perfect and a excuse me a perfect anytime treat. Okay. It smells a little cheesy. I don't know if you'll smell it. It's kind of subtle. Oh, I smell something. <laughs> that's that's me. I farted. Um, all right, I'll go for it. I love me some cheese. Mm. Oh, that's a delicate. Oh wow. You're right, it is like a big old Cheetos puff. It's got mm. a tiny bit of sweetness to it. Yeah. Mmm. I do think I like the truffle fries a hair more, but this is up there. I would buy this. Hey, 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 leave me some. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a big bite on that. Sorry, I was aiming for half. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, crap, was messy. <laughs> mm. Oh damn! No, that's really good too. I do think that makes it like a little more than truffle. Fries. Really? Yeah. Oh, I keep calling them truffle fries, truffle chips, I should yeah. say. God. I know you said that because I was saying it. Um, yeah, that's a that's a knock it out of the park. Oh my god, Mary! By the way, three sa three savory. It's like they heard us and now we've canceled. Sorry. <laughs> All right, next snacko. All right, next we've got the mini wafer bites. Find them in here. There we go. All right, Decca mini wafer bites. Peanut butter, oob, or chocolate flavor. We have peanut butter. Gourmet wafer rolls are now available in mini bite size. These crunchy and light wafer rolls are filled with decadent and tasty cream, perfect for snapping, snacking on the go or at home. Straight out of Indonesia. All right. They almost look like little rolled cigars. <laughs> It smells the, got the peanut smell. Oh, that's definitely, I was right, that's sweet. Or Swedish, Swedish. No, it's Indonesian. It well, kind of reminds me of those peanut butter cracker cookies. 
not cracked cookies, but you know, the sandwiches that you, the... Uh, nutty Buddies? No, 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 no. Maybe a tiny bit like that, but just, you know, the the crackers with the peanut on that you get in like six to a pack. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, I, well, I usually have those with the cheese crackers, so I don't, I don't really have that reference. I, I would, I could see where you're coming from, though. Uh, I like these, but I think my issue with this, it's right in between savory or sweet kind of peanut. Like, I almost feel like I want it to pick a lane. Like, either be sweeter and be a sweet snack, or pull back and give me a little salt and be more of a salty cream, you know what I mean? It's kind of this weird right in the middle that... I'm actually having trouble getting much flavor from it at all. Hmm. Well, I would definitely get some peanut butter flavor. Texture's fantastic. Okay. Of course. I haven't had dinner, so I was like, I'm just gonna keep nomming. <laughs> oh, trust me, I feel you. Mm. Okay. But you know what, we picked, I think we did these in a good order, because we are going down, like, it, this was a nice transition into the next snack, so. Yep. I guess speaking of that, mm -hmm. next snack. <laughs> All right, and next up, Nutella, be ready. These crisp and crunchy wafers filled with Nutella cream are the perfect way to get your Nutella fix on the go. So you better be ready for this taste experience. Also, well, I was gonna be all super cool, but maybe, maybe not. That's okay. If you open up the entire well, side. Well, you'll see why I was, I thought I could just slide that out because they are. Oh, individually wrapped. Yeah, individually wrapped. So there's two. <laughs> Oh, and they're like stickied to the paper, like the sticky tack uh, stuff. That's why it would that not seems just slide out. Excessive. Yeah. Um, so anywho. Well, we'll try one. Uh, yeah, you read the whole thing. Sorry, I was distracted by <laughs> by the packaging. Careful. Oh, that's fine. I didn't hit that that hard. Oh, that looks very sexual. Hmm. <laughs> I like the wafer. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This box might be being helped by the fact I'm very hungry, but everything is tasting really good. That is awesome. <laughs> Super. It tastes good, but I don't know how it would be anyway be fulfilling as a breakfast. Oh, they said that it was fulfilling as a breakfast, yeah. Oh. But yeah, the crispiness of that wafer this. and the chocolate Nutella, that's fantastic. Oh, no, just to get your fix on the go. Okay. I, I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking breakfast. I don't know. Rock, paper, scissors for the last bite. <laughs> oh, wait, how do we, what are we doing? No, I, we, we didn't establish rules. We, well, one, one two, two, three, then shoot. Oh, one, two, three, then yeah, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> we are not playing. Well, I think you win, but I disqualified, but I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, you go for it. You can has, because I love We're you. not playing rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. I know, but that was what I went for, because I love you, and I know you like the joke. Uh -huh. Just do it sexily. No, it's too late. I'm just kidding. All right, so we're gonna move on. How many have we opened? One, two, three, four, five. So that's halfway. We're, we'll be right back. <laughs> And we're back. And just real quick, we would have had a couple things. We had a couple thoughts on that Nutella. Um, I would buy that if I find that in the store. Um, and you were saying. Um, that this is actually one of the best Nutella related things that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, probably because it's like they finally got the ratio of chocolate to whatever else correct. Yeah. Because a lot of times you can just get like a schmear. Right, you don't get enough or you get too much, it overpowers everything. Like I've not been impressed with a Nutella product until right then. That was really, really good. But uh, we just wanted to throw that part of the review in. But now, right. we're gonna open up the Dolcetta Cookies and Cream Wafer Bites with extremely, expert, I'm sorry, with expertly, uh, Morty, with expertly crafted crisp and creamy wafer cookies and premium ingredients to create an indulgent and sweet tooth satisfying snack straight out of Italy. Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. Ooh, it smells very chocolatey. Mm, I like that wafer. I can't really smell it. After Nutella, I can't really taste 
No, I'm getting it. It's subtle, but it does. Oh, yeah, it's a cookies and cream. Can you get another one? 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 Okay. There's not much in there. Yeah. I would just say, I like this one. I don't love it. I think this is one that's like, oh, I'll happily finish it, but it's not like the most amazing thing ever. There's really not much filling in here. Yeah, they are, but I don't know, but to me it feels, it feel, at least the two I had, the balance seems right. I do feel like I'm getting that cookies and cream vibe happening, so. I'm not getting much of anything. Okay. And there's definitely a nice I, I mean, chocolate I'm, I'm, after. I, I guess I'm getting some chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the cream really... is subtle. Yeah. But it, it reminds me of cookies again, and cream. You're cream. the super taster. That's true. I do, I do have a, a sensitive palate, I guess? I don't know. I have the opposite. It's like, I think this is edible. Right? Oh, just a reminder too, by the way, uh, we're almost done filming unboxings here, so the background will change, just giving you a heads up. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no, there'll be a lot more unboxings coming out with, we shoot the stuff so out of order now, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> but we set up a TV studio to move all this up into, so. Okay, uh, <clears throat> just real quick before we jump to the next one, I gotta say, you you did call it, and maybe it's because I'm hungry. But this one, this is actually this is one of the better munch packs we've had in a long time. We still it got three actually. three snacks they're excited about, but yeah, because easily three of these things, I would yeah three of these things I for sure will buy again if I find them so far, and we'll see okay. what we think about the other stuff. All right. But we'll get on to the next snack. Yeah. Um. All right. So I guess we're doing this, huh? Yeah. Okay. Frit. The the frit smoothie in this case the coconut and passion fruit. We we are very suspicious of this one. Yeah, and I don't know that that's a flavor profile I'm much of a fan of. Anyways. Uh, I like coconut. I'm not sure about oh. passion fruit. Uh, frit is back with all new flavors blended together in a sweet smoothie style chew. I was just gonna say this is not what I was expecting it These to be. These flavors come together for a balanced uh, treat with a tart sweet and exotic notes in every bite. Oh, okay, you wanna just break that in half? That's what I figure we'll do. Yeah, it's like individually wrapped, almost like gumstick. So it is, oh. Yeah, I mean, it's soft, but it also broke. So this is gonna be kind of more of a taffy. So, okay, I'm a little less concerned. Actually, it has like, seg is it supposed to be segments? Uh, yeah, it has maybe segments. Maybe make it easier to eat. Oh, but it's also the kind of thing where the paper wants to stick oh. to the actual. So we're not gonna eat that part. Let's just go, as you can kind of see, it's kind of segmented. The wax paper is sticking like crazy. <laughs> well, I want to get a piece that doesn't have the paper on it. Woo, you smell the coconut flavoring. Actually, I like the texture. It's like a flatter, tiny bit softer starburst. I like the flavor, but I'm not necessarily getting coconut from it. Oh, I'm definitely getting some coconut. There comes the passion fruit. Actually, it's not terrible. I'll be honest, I would eat okay. more of it right now if that paper wasn't so stuck to it. I've been eating some, uh, oh, oh the uh, taffy from, uh, What? The salt taffy, salt water taffy from, uh, 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 Jesus, I cannot think of names today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Kim I can't help. Kim sent it to me. Um, uh, the, the, like the Jersey beach area, uh, Atlant Atlantic? I don't think I'll know it even if you tell me, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good one, drive me crazy. Well, tell her in the comments in three weeks when this video comes out. <laughs> you know, that's actually pretty good. That's, as, yeah. especially as much as I was dreading it, that's pretty good, I'll eat that. I, I don't know that I would buy it, or at least maybe not that flavor. I would probably, what were the other flavors you could have gotten? Um, Strawberry and raspberry. Yeah. Apple and currant might have been really interesting. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, that was a lot better than I thought, other than the paper sticking to half the candy, but. Mm. Okay, cool, two to go, next snack. Uh, is it Atlantic City? Damn it. Um. Oh, we should, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
It's gonna drive her crazy forever. What the hell are these things? Uh, mm. The sour Sm smog balls. Small sour smog balls. Toxic waste sour smog balls. Again, that just. I like the art on them. These sour candy balls are one bit of toxic waste that you'll want to eat. Every bag includes the sour and delicious flavors of blue raspberry, lime, cherry, strawberry, lemon, and grape. Straight out of Pakistan. We're cutting this open so I don't spill this everywhere. <laughs> I'll try a few. Oh, I was gonna oh, okay. try a few. I also wanna read what's on the back of the bag. Are they, cause I don't know, they didn't really tell me if these are like chewy or hard. Are they chewy? Mm -hmm. Try a lemon. The hard candies? Yeah, I'd be careful with your teeth. Yeah, that's what, that's what, oh, yeah, these are like jawbreakers. I'm not gonna be able to eat more than one because it's gonna take too long to eat. Okay. I should put my back too. Mm -hmm. um, not sour on the outside. Okay, here's what it says on the back of the package. Okay. The fiendish plot of Dr. Smog. Dr. Igor? Are we going with Igor or Igor? Whatever. Uh, Don't call me late for dinner. Dr. Igor Smog is a wealthy industrialist who made his fortune in heavy manufacturing, but his methods are wasteful and produce lots of toxic byproducts, which he disposes of in environmentally irresponsible ways. His latest scheme is to put massive amounts of toxic uh, smog into the atmosphere from the smokestacks of his factory. Once airborne, the pollution will con condense into particles of solid waste and rain down upon the unsuspecting countryside. Fortunately, Professor... Sour Snoggin? That's a Sour Sour Noggin? There we go. Is on the case. Sour Noggin is de de has dedicated his life to finding ways to transform toxic waste into good and useful products. One blast from his rooftop smogomatic ray gun and the cloud will rain down delicious sour candy balls and outcome Dr. Smog is less than pleased about. Um, I haven't got to the center yet. I have no sour, so I'm assuming it's like sour powder in the center. I'm assuming these are basically just um, gobstoppers that don't change along the way. I've got nothing sour. It's okay. I'd eat them, but. My time blue? No. Okay. What do you think of the blue one? Um. Eh? Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of basic. <laughs> I'm just I don't kinda, get much. I'm not. I'm just not getting much flavor, man. <laughs> well, even the lemon is fairly um, light on the flavor. I mean, it's not bad. Oh wait, oh, it's okay. I'm hitting the center. Actually, the center is. It's not pow not powdery like a gobstopper. It's almost. It's almost more chewy. Yeah, it's more chewy. Okay, so there's the sour. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. At first it was not very sour, but there comes the sour really, okay. Ooh, mmm. Okay, I stand corrected. I like that sour a lot. They make you wait to get to it though. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't, again, not something I would go out and buy, but I will gladly finish that bag and try the other flavors. But that takes so long to eat one, I'm not gonna try any more on the video, but. Yeah, actually I quite like that. But it's kind of the same problem I had with Gobstoppers. Like I love the sour part. And the getting to it, like you have that flavor, it's like, oh, it's more of that. And then, well, now I gotta go through this part first again. And then you start getting used to that. And you're like, okay, that part's pretty good. And then the sour hits, you're like, oh no, that's what I'm looking for. I want some more of that. And they're like, I wish it was just sour. Uh, <laughs> lessons in delayed gratification. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, moving on, last snack. Mm -hmm. All right, we are back and we are gonna do these. All right. That Mary was pointing out a high calorie. <laughs> Am Ambarosli gummies, uh, Brugelli Citric is what we got. Uh, these individually wrapped fruity chews are a nice and are nice and chewy, perfect for when you are craving something really sweet and fruity, or enjoy sweet and sour mixed with uh, loop rings, which we didn't get the loop. So okay, so it looks like we have orange, lemon, and lime. I want orange. Okay. You know what, since I just did lemon, I'm gonna do lime, I mean, I'm, but I, yeah, I'm like, so The lime. front of the pack says, or lime uh, all. it has a little sign that say, Alto in calorias, so high in calories, by the Ministerio de Salud, which is Ministry of Health. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's three pieces of 70 calories, so I mean, by American standards, that's about common. Is it a sour sugar on the, or is it just a sugar on here? I say it's a slightly sour. Okay, cool. 
Um, yeah, it definitely has a softness to it. I thought they were gonna be hard candies. Mm. Oh yeah, no. My middle bit, okay, a little sour sugar. Hmm. Mmm. Not bad. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Would I buy them? I don't know that they're really so you any better than like lime. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're any better than like trolley candies though. But they are pretty good. All right. Well, if you're doing two, I'll do two. Let me try an orange. Maybe. There it is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Okay. The lemon tastes a bit like floor cleaner. Oh, did it? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go for lemon. That's weird. But you're not usually much of a lemon fan, right? Yeah, but it, it, it has a weird chemical thing going on, man. Okay, well, since she's trying to make me fat, I have to check it out. I'm throwing that back. She says it to me all the time. That's why I say that. She doesn't have to try. Okay, I was only gonna do two, but I'll go the I'll do the whole round table. He'll do the trifecta. Mm-hmm. I like it so far. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I'm doing a meme. Hmm. Tastes slightly off. I don't know that I'm getting quite floor cleaner. Maybe is it on the aftertaste or? I got it while I was eating it. It's not quite as lemony as like the lemon hard candy was, but the lemon is definitely the weak link of the three. I will give you that. But no, I like the orange and the lime quite well. So again, there's nothing in here that I'm like, I don't want to eat that. I don't want to finish it. I will eat, I would eat all of this stuff. And three of these things I really love. I do still think the truffle potato chips though win for me. Um, followed very closely by that cheese puff stick. I'm going with the cheese puff stick first. And then that's going followed by the uh, Nutella pretty close as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right, it's a pretty awesome farewell uh, munch pack. So, but like I said, if those of you like the snack box, we're still gonna do a snack box. We're just gonna try a different one because this boxu, boketsu or whatever, boketsu. it has a lot of stuff we don't find ever. So it should be something a little more interesting, a little more experimental. So we can experiment on camera here for y'all. Get him to actually eat more mochi. No, I just, I don't, I don't like the texture. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but there you go. <laughs> so that's whatever month the uh, munch pack this was. What did you all think about it? Did you get one? Uh, what's your favorite snack? Have you had any of these? Based on these, you got any recommendations for snacks for us we should try? Maybe we'll do it over on the Patreon channel because we do food stuff over there sometimes. So uh, you can check all that out. You can comment below, let us know. You can also click the thumbs up button and give us that good old thumb of encouragement as we do love to be encouraged if you want to. Check out the Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, extra video every day, video game let's plays, food stuff, uh, movie reviews, all kinds of craziness. It helps with the house, but no pressure. But you can find that by looking up the Eric Butts using the links in the description below. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna get out of here. And honestly, I'm about to go open up some hot sauce. So that ought to pair well with all this junk food I just ate. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all. <laughs> I just hit my 10K. Later. <laughs>